Advanced wireless technologies promise to connect people, machines, and infrastructure in new ways. As 5G deployments accelerate, wireless networks will deliver higher capacity and lower latency service, enabling the exchange of enormous amounts of information at near instantaneous speeds. But 5G is just the beginning. Engineers and computer scientists are already investigating technologies beyond 5G, researching new techniques for spectrum sharing, network automation, and the management of complex, heterogeneous networks. These technologies will revolutionize communications, but only if they can make the jump from research to practice, a transition that requires large-scale testing, validation, and platforms for collaboration. The Platforms for Advanced Wireless Research program was started by the National Science Foundation with the goal to create four city-scale testbeds to accelerate fundamental research into wireless networking technologies. Known as POWER, the $100 million program is run by the POWER Project Office, or PPO, which is co-led by U.S. Ignite and Northeastern University. The program is supported by $50 million in funding from the National Science Foundation and $50 million in cash and in-kind contributions from an industry consortium of leading companies and wireless associations. The success of the POWER program rests on collaboration among multiple stakeholders, university researchers, local communities, the private sector, and federal agencies. Teams selected for the program all include academic institutions partnered with local municipal leadership to create publicly accessible research networks. Industry consortium members contribute equipment, software, and expertise to the power platforms as part of an ongoing relationship designed to uncover new opportunities for innovation and development. While traditional university and private sector labs support advanced research, the power platforms offer a real-world, outdoor testing environment to help move research more quickly from theory to practical and commercial application. Power Project Office staff have led the rigorous process for selecting the platform teams and sites, and the testbeds themselves are designed to follow certain principles. They must be open and programmable at multiple levels, enable reproducible experimentation, and support a diversity of wireless research experiments. Each platform also is focused on select areas of research interest. The Powder Platform covers several square miles in Salt Lake City, Utah, and is a collaboration of the University of Utah, the Renew Team at Rice University, the Utah Education and Telehealth Network, and Salt Lake City Government. Its research focus is on end-to-end -end programmability, including open networking and software-defined networking, dynamic spectrum sharing, and fully programmable 32 by 32 massive MIMO arrays. The second platform, Cosmos, is based in the West Harlem neighborhood in New York City and is led by a core team from Rutgers University, Columbia University, and NYU in partnership with the City of New York. Cosmos Research targets programmable networks including innovation in millimeter wave technology, optical backhaul, and dynamic spectrum sharing. The AirPaw platform covers several sites in the Research Triangle area of North Carolina, including areas in the city of Raleigh and the town of Cary. It is run by North Carolina State University in partnership with local municipal leadership and has a research focus on wireless communications between drones and ground-based systems and dynamic spectrum sharing. A fourth power platform to be announced in early 2021 will support research into rural broadband connectivity. The rural testbed will enable experimentation with heterogeneous wireless networking technologies in an effort to decrease the cost and expand the reach of wireless networks in low-density geographic locations. While testbed teams focus on design and deployment of their individual platforms, Power Project Office staff manage industry consortium partnerships, provide technical integration assistance, and ensure effective execution of deployment plans. The PPO also works continuously to bring new resources to the program, such as negotiating with the Federal Communications Commission to designate power testbed sites as the first ever innovation zones for spectrum research. As FCC innovation zones, the power testbeds provide extended access to spectrum under a single research license, enabling researchers to experiment in multiple locations and frequencies under a program experimental license. In late 2019, Power, through its leadership at Northeastern University, also inherited the Coliseum as a program asset. Coliseum is the world's largest wireless network emulator and was developed to support DARPA's Spectrum Collaboration Challenge. 
The Spectrum Collaboration Challenge asked competitors to develop artificial intelligence engines for automatically allocating spectrum resources in sophisticated emulation scenarios. Coliseum, with its 128 programmable radio nodes, hosted these scenarios, and that infrastructure is now housed at Northeastern University's Institute for the Wireless Internet of Things as a resource for power researchers. The shared facilities of each of the power platforms, including hardware, software, compute power, and connectivity, is paired with an online remote access system that opens up the test beds to researchers anywhere in the country. Early research is taking place now on the platforms, with areas of interest including AI-enabled network functions, open source radio access network, open RAN development, massive MIMO optimization, dynamic spectrum management, and much more. The Power Program is dedicated to furthering wireless research not only within the academic sector, but in ways that reinforce the benefits of engagement between universities and their local communities, and that create new avenues for commercial development. The platforms for advanced wireless research will also play a key role in enabling continued U.S. leadership in wireless innovation and services, particularly as network systems grow more complex. The program is a national asset and a unique engine of innovation that will extend opportunities for wireless leadership through 5G and far beyond.